Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Hunter Dow, and today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to do reflection to mirror effect. So, um, basically the video is of my reflection, basically the video is of my reflection doing something while the actual actor is doing something else. And to do that you need just one video filmed off. I suggest using your camera because it will be better quality. If you use a camera, make sure it's on a tripod and make sure the tripod and everything is still because you don't want any shaky footage. Or if you don't have a camera or tripod, you can use your computer or your iPad or something like that. But make sure anything that has a camera on it, make sure it's completely still because or else it'll mess up the video. So this is of me. I'm not going to play. I'm just going to scroll through it. So this is me. This is the actual person and it's the reflection I did. So I'm basically doing that, and at the end, you can see that then it goes back to, okay, he's looking at himself. So the whole time, the, the reflection is getting funny. So, how I did this, I used After Effects, CC 2014, the latest version, and get out of that. Okay, so, yeah, now we're in After Effects, and we're going to create a new composition. We can either do new comp or drag and drop the footage into the comp and import it however by using file or drag and dropping so this is the video and we are going to duplicate it because this is how it's going to work press command d or control d name this joker this is the top layer it's for the mirror effect and name this one coming you can name it whatever but just name it how the actor is doing stuff so, we're going to turn the eye off on this one. We're going to find the area where he stops. I want to stop directly where he's like this. And then, because this is when this actor will look up and then the funny mirror reflection is acting like he did nothing. So, to do that, we're going to press Option Right Bracket. Okay, so now we have that. Now we're going to turn on the combing. And we're just going to find the area where he comes in. So that is right here. And we're going to press Option Left Bracket. Now we're going to drag it up to the beginning. And now we have this, but he's still in it. So we're going to go in Joker. And the signs that are above the comment period is the zoom for hockey. I mean hotkey for zoom, or you can go up here and zoom. I use 200%. So you just press H for the hand tools, you can move it around, and we're going to mask. So make sure, I'll do it quickly, but make sure if you're actually doing a short film or something with this effect, make sure the mask is very good. And just mask outside of the mirror, but we're going to fix that and mask the ma keep the mask inside because it will help for feathering and the lighting. Especially when you film off a computer, the lighting is not the greatest. So, that is the mask that we have right now. We're going to need to scroll through here and mask path the whole thing. So, you get, click on the Joker and click M for mask path. Click on the um, time and this, this will basically make keyframes of it. So, we're just going to scroll through here and see. Maybe we don't have to mask path, but we'll just have to see. Because sometimes you have to mask path because of this person. I'm just going to scroll through here. And okay, yeah, we don't need to do that. Okay, now here's the problem that we'll have here is we're like, oh, okay, he's looking up now. Like this. So what we need to do is just scroll through here and voila you have this the one he looks at so what you do is just drag it and see areas that will match it and he looks up this one so that happens, and so we need to make this a little bit longer. 
And now you have this part where he's looking up, basically, and the reflection copies. So, yeah. And so that's, that's it. That's how, uh, how you do the effect. But there's a couple more things you need to do. You need to go into here. And we need to feather this out. Sorry if I'm mumbling and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is my first time I did the effect. So we're going to off-click this so we can see the feather. Click on F on the Joker. And we're going to, you can, it's really bad to feather all the way out because that will show the actual actor. That's a cool effect to do. It's a rip effect, but we don't want that. Try 10 and just look at it and see if it's good or not. Okay, that's good. And now we're going to go back to fit. Okay, so we don't, we would use uh, adjustment layer to color correct the whole thing, but since this is different and this is different, then we'll have to color correct both of them. So you're going to go on color correction, and I use curves a lot. You can use any of these, like even levels, that will help vertically. But curves will work too. So what you're going to do is go out of here, and we're going to make this a little bit and we may have to keyframe it sometimes. Keyframe it basically to find areas that I yeah, see like this. Ultimate darker. So even darker. So that the lighting doesn't actually change and stuff like that. And what we're gonna do is just Press Command C and then Command V for paste. Paste it onto that, and you have your video and lighting and such changes. But there you have it. That's how you do the mirror reflection effect. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. And more tutorials will, will be coming out soon because I just finished my new short film on Mortis 2, and now I'll be focusing on like five to seven second videos of short effects or even videos that this long. And then right after that, there will be a tutorial on how to do it and stuff like that. So that will be from August to September. I will be doing short videos, tutorials like that. 